I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I don't know what to do. I've just been editing a load of videos and none of them are really coming together the way I want them to. On top of that, I sent a pitch that I really thought was fantastic. I don't know about the pitch being fantastic, but like, I thought it really helped get the point across that they were wanting and had been left on red. Now the problem is, in my mind, that's a, yeah, we're not interested. But it could very well be, okay, I've seen it, let me send it on to the right person and I'll let you know what they say when they come back. But the waiting, and I just keep seeing the worst. So I've opened the curtains, I'm gonna go to the gym, clear my head, and then I'm not really sure where this is gonna go, but this video is gonna go somewhere. Yeah, it's off. All right, so when these arrived, I didn't know what to do with them. I just bought them because they looked interesting. So we're about to use those, but I wanna... So between leaving for the gym and now, we've had two good things that have happened. One is I sent an email or a... I saw the company Heart that do power tools. I saw them do a couple of partnerships recently. And so I tried to look for someone who's at the company to reach out to. Couldn't find anyone, so I DM'd them on TikTok and I DM'd them on Instagram. The response on TikTok was just like, here's an email. The response on Instagram, which I expected them to be the same, the response on Instagram was more like, sorry, we are working with DIY and, DIY and automotive creators at the moment, so basically you don't fit. In which case, I was about to reply and say, okay, thanks, or something else. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for a little bit. And then, of course, at about 1 a.m. this morning, <laughs> I had the idea, I was like, what do I do on TikTok? I create niche audiences for a series. And what is it that's similar about the DIY and automotive niche that is so similar to what I do? And it's the demographic. It's males between 18 and 45. So I made the video this morning in the garage, basically sharing that I have the same audience and I create series that create that niche audience, and here is the project. I thought it was a flipping brilliant pitch. So I sent it over, and their Instagram account watched the video, because I can see it on YouTube as unlisted, and then got back to me a few hours later saying, we've passed it on to the appropriate team. If I've been able to turn that from a no to a yes, that would be amazing. But also it's just a learning process. The other thing is, I've been, talking with Gorilla Glue for the, like, O'Keeffe's for the past month, month and a half, trying to get on their calendar to share some ideas and help them out. The lady said she was gonna get back to me Monday of this week, it's now Thursday, and I was like, you know what? Should I wait another few days until next week? I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna send an email, and this is what I did differently. Normally I would send an email that's like a paragraph or two, kind of, my mindset would be, I'm sorry, to like inconvenience you, I'm, I'm sure you need more time, blah, blah, blah. Here's how I can really help you. Let's like, basically pleading. And I was like, no, I can't keep doing that because it doesn't work. So I switched it to be, here's my calendar, let's chat, and hopefully I can take some of the work off your plate with these upcoming campaigns. That was basically it. And she just booked an appointment for next week. Yes. Okay, when I create TikToks, I've been wanting to just do it straight there in the moment, but I know I can make it so much better, so much more entertaining. So these tongue trainers, I'm gonna do a rough plan here. Okay, we're all done, but here's where I stand with making TikToks, right? This is a fairly interesting topic as it is. So you could just try it and people may be interested, but you could also make it far more entertaining if you just plan out what you're gonna try. But here's the flip side of that. How do I, how do I best illustrate this? I bought this flipping table thing here with the overhead rig so I could draw on here. I've even got the paper, but there's crap all over it and I can't be able to move it at the moment. 
So let's say you have a graph here. So up here, you've got views. And then down here, you've got authenticity. And let's put this into four quadrants. So this is how I see making content. If you're getting low views and it's low authenticity, people just don't know you and they don't want to know you. But if you want high views with low authenticity, no one's gonna care about you after they finish the video. This is what I know how to do really well. But if you want low views and high authenticity, you should keep going because eventually people are gonna care because then you get into high views, high authenticity, where people care whatever it is you're doing. You call these people your Emma Chamberlains, your Victoria Parises, your Alex Earls. So for a video that's highly planned out and word for word, I can hit this every time. Almost every time. That sounds douchey, but you get what I'm saying, because it's a formula. But for doing it based on my personality in real life, that's where I am, right there. But it's low views. And I need the views because I need the money from the views. So it's like trying to bridge the gap between this to be able to get to here. And the way I'm doing that, trying to do that, is with a very brief plan and then doing the filming and the editing live action. Live action is, is not voiceover. It's using the audio from the reaction, the experience in the moment, just like this vlog. So with our brief outline, let's get filming. These are tongue trainers designed to help with tongue flexibility and speech issues. Now, ever since I got Invisalign, I've had speech issues. So when I saw these on Timu, I was like, those look stupid to try, let's give them a go. So this one goes between the front teeth. Bloody awful at that. Mm, yeah. God, I need some work, don't I? And then this one goes, Now I know what you naughty boys are thinking. These are for speech issues, you little sickos. All right, let's try doing some tongue twisters first. 50 tongue twisters to improve your English. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of peck of pipples, <laughs> oh gosh. Where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? What in the world? <laughs> okay. Betty Botter bought some butter, but, but she said, but butter's better. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. It says you have to do each one of them for 10 to 50 seconds. Seconds? 10 to 50 times. I crushed it on that side. Just dribbling. <clears throat> okay, now the front one. God, my bloody tongue's going numb. Starting to ache now. Oh, I see the movements now. So this one is pushing your tongue up and down. This one's pushing your tongue side to side at the side. And then this one is pushing back and forth. This one makes me feel like I want to throw up. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Got hyper speed. Okay. The end of my tongue is numb and my bit. They always say to train your muscles till failure, don't they? So, I've got what's meant to be the world's mintiest gum here. I gave one to my nephew the other day. He was not happy. I've got some water on standby. Just training the muscles till failure. I'm about to fail. Bloody hell. I don't want to breathe. It's like I brushed my teeth with mint toothpaste, drank freezing cold orange juice, went outside into the freezing weather, and then did smelling salts. When it says grenades on the pack, it's probably not a good sign. Pain. Okay, that is really strong. Oh, I did it again. I'm gonna try this for the next seven days, but let's do the tongue twister again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pipple pepples. Okay, I'll update you in seven days. Let's get rid of this gum as well. That is not good. I quite like this idea of doing this just as something to do while I'm working. I think that's how I'll be doing it the next week. Whew, jinkies. Oh yeah. So I'm about to edit this, but I, I, I've noticed something from recent videos that the Mizwak, Miswak video, I saw a couple of comments that were like, bros just yapping, because I obviously didn't include too many clips of me actually brushing my teeth because I'm not talking. But what I should have done is had more of the clips of me brushing my teeth in strange positions 
over the top of clips of me talking so that people could see how I was actually using it. So I'm gonna be doing that in this. Yes. Duda, and there we are. We finish off the day. I think a good day from in a place of not really any idea what's going on to in a place of getting some really good stuff done and making progress. I think the most frustrating part is that when pitching these brands, it's such a slow process and I am terribly impatient. I really have to control myself from pestering them from what I think is a professional way of doing things, of letting someone know of, I don't have the answer. Here is what I know so far. I'll update you again two days from now. Job done. I have a cool idea for tomorrow that is a long run type of idea. Let's try it.